In this video, we will show you how to set up the Guardian Connect app. Begin by downloading the Guardian Connect app to your mobile device and tapping the icon to open it. After the welcome screen, you will see an end user license agreement. Read through the agreement and select Agree to proceed. You will get another prompt asking if you agree with the user terms and conditions. Tap Agree to continue. On the next screen, you will see a list of things that you will need to do before you can get started. Select Get Started to move to the next screen. Next, you will see a reminder that the app automatically sends your information to CareLink. Select Next. Now you will see information on Care Partners. You will learn more about Care Partners in another video. Tap Next. On the next screen, you will need to log into your CareLink account. If you do not have an account, Tap on Don't have a CareLink account yet and follow the instructions on screen. You may want to write down your CareLink login information so that you can access your account on your home computer. After logging into your CareLink account, the app will ask you to pair your transmitter. Place the transmitter on the charger and tap Next. The next screen will tell you to remove the transmitter from the charger to begin pairing. The green light on the transmitter should begin to flash. Next, tap Search. Your app will ask you to confirm the serial number of your transmitter. Confirm that the serial number on the screen is the same as the one located on the back of your transmitter, tap the serial number on the app screen, and select Pair. You will receive a pop-up message for a Bluetooth pairing request. Tap Pair to continue. You will see a confirmation screen once the device has been paired. Select OK to continue. After your transmitter finishes successfully pairing, your app will ask you to select which CARB unit to display. Select your desired unit and press Next. Carefully read the next screen for information on the limitations of sensor glucose values and press OK. Select Agree to continue. On the next screen, you will have the option to start a new sensor or you can skip this section and insert the sensor later. If you choose to insert the sensor now, select Yes and refer to the instructions on the Guardian Sensor 3 insertion video. For now, select Skip to continue programming the Guardian Connect system settings. Next, you will be reminded that the Guardian Connect app will send alerts to your mobile device. Tap Next to continue and select Allow to turn on Guardian Connect notifications. Keep in mind, your app must be open or running in the background to receive notifications or alerts. The next screen reminds that Guardian Connect will always play a tone, even if your phone is set to silent. This is to ensure you will always receive your sensor glucose alerts. Select Next to continue. The next screen reminds you that you will always receive an alert when your sensor glucose reaches 55 mg per deciliter. Tap Next. Now you will have the option to set up your sensor alerts. Your healthcare professional will work with you to decide what your initial settings will be and will help you adjust them as you continue to use the Guardian Connect system. If you do not have this information from your healthcare provider, select Skip. Otherwise, select Set up alerts. The alerts settings screen is where you will set up all of your alerts and notifications. More information on how to set up these alerts can be found in your user guide and online on the Medtronic support page.